Hi, this is Zach Mir from Master Investor. We'll look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Monday, the 19th of January. I'm starting off with Afrin, where we've seen a pretty punishing breakdown from August, uh, from basically the £1.40 area uh, down to as low as 21 pence uh, at the beginning of this month. Uh, dead cap bounce over the past week, uh, taking the shares up to 35 pence, but still, uh, it looks as though the down trade downtrend will prevail. Uh, failed gap fill up to the uh, 36 pence level on Friday it is also a sell signal, especially as we close right down at uh, 29.7 pence uh, to end the week. Uh, probably the best way forward here, if you're a fan of the shares, would be to wait for at least an end of day close back above December support at 32 pence before going long, or of course, uh, attempting to bottom fish, catch the falling knife towards 20 pence if the shares drift further. Next up is Kibo Mining, where we've seen a, a pullback around 50% um, of the best uh, peak, uh, which was just above 12 pence uh, in December. Uh, shares dipped down just below 6 pence for a day earlier this month and then bounced back quite strongly. Uh, recent resistance is around 8.3 pence, 8.4 pence. And what uh, the sort of cautious traders probably want to do is see an end of day close back above uh, that consolidation range before assuming that we'll get a retest of 12 pence plus. Uh, later this month or in February. This stage really only a uh, weekly close back below the 50-day moving average at 5.2 pence uh, shown here in blue uh, would be an outright negative for the shares. But um, if you are an aggressive fan of the stock, uh, the RSI is at 56 and that suggests that you could be uh, nibbling away on the, uh, on the upside uh, as the momentum is now on uh, a positive breakout over the next few days. Finishing off with uh, XL Media, which is a rather more obscure stock than the uh, other two stocks I've been looking at. Uh, but uh, the situation here on technical perspective is that we were in the wake of a uh, quite a sharp December bear trap rebound. Uh, support since July had generally been around the 40 pence level and the shares dipped uh, towards uh, 33 pence uh, at the low last month and then snapped back quite uh, strongly. That is a decent technical buy signal and we've got a bull flag here just below the uh, 50 day, uh, sorry, the 200 day moving average at 54 pence. End of day close above that should be enough to take the shares back up to the top of the uh, 2014 range, uh, which would be 70 pence in the first instance uh, as soon as uh, the four to six weeks after the 200 day moving average break. Uh, if you're cautious on the shares, maybe you'd wait for uh, a break also above the uh, December resistance at 55 pence. Uh, but it does look as though the 200 day line would be a decent buy trigger. This stage really only back below the 20 day average at 48 pence would be outright negative and can be regarded as the stop loss on the buy argument. Uh, that's it for me, apart from to say uh, a reminder that uh, tomorrow evening, Tuesday the 20th, I'll be speaking with uh, Jabez Williams, the fund manager, and David Lenigas, the entrepreneur, uh, the commander in Notting Hill. More details on that at spreadbetmagazine.com.